Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced Custom Theme Development with WordPress. In the previous video we learned about the WP head and WP footer function and we also learned about some of the functions that WordPress offers uh, to get the values dynamically like these. Now we're going to move on to the body section. Okay and in this video we're also going to talk about something really important which is WP body open hook. First of all I'd like to thank Atrimon for pointing this out. So he says that hello Imran I very much like your tutorials they're awesome and just maybe one note to this chapter if it's an advanced theme development I would also include the WP body open function which was introduced in 5.2 and it makes developers life easy for Google Analytics and Facebook. Alright so just to let you know that in the previous chapters when we discussed about the WP head which allows us to insert our scripts and style sheets inside of the head tag and WP footer which allows us to insert the scripts inside the footer there has been a history when developers want to insert Google Analytics scripts Facebook pixel or any other script to the page front end they hook either into the WP head hook which is this one or the WP footer hook to inject the code those two super useful actions hook allow developers to inject custom code custom code using a simple template so they so they could do something like this they can create a function like add code and then inside of this whatever code they want to write they can write over here XYZ I'm just putting dot 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 and then they can hook on to the WP head using the add action using WP head hook and then using their function name over here inside of the head tag right now the problem with that is up until now we couldn't inject the scripts or styles in the beginning of the body tag which means that we could insert it here uh, inside of the head tag and in the footer as well before the body tag ends but we couldn't insert it within the body tag just bef just after the body tag starts this was a major drawback in WordPress core as marketers needed to register various tracking codes at the beginning of the body tag before any content is displayed so in WordPress 5.2 so if you take a look at this URL uh, you can see that this was introduced WP body open function was introduced which fires the WP body open action and all the default themes use them in header.php and now this enables a inserting asynchronous JavaScript right after the body tag opens up and and it gives us access to this helper function which is WP body open okay so all we have to do is just call it here WP body open and now we can hook on we can latch onto this hook so if we check this is WP body open and we can actually insert our scripts after the body tag opens one of the other things that I want to show you is that there is a function in WordPress which is called body class what this does basically is that it adds it adds a bunch of classes for every page and this is pretty useful so let me show that to you so if I add the body class function and let's go over here let's inspect element and you can see that it has added a bunch of classes over here which is like home, blog, login, admin more, theme, aquila, all of that stuff. And now there will be some classes which will be added on certain pages, for example, on single page or on an archive page. And this can be pretty useful as well for us because sometimes if we want to go ahead and style a particular page, we will have, for example, on a single page, we will have a class available that we can use to style them specifically. So body class is pretty useful and even if you want to add a class to it you can do do that so like if I put like hello class and if I refresh 
you would notice that it's going to add that class. You can see that now it's added the hello class over here, right? So let's take a look inside of this function as to what's happening. So you can see that it says displays the class name, so body element, and you can pass in a class name and it's just going to join whatever body classes were already present. It's going to join all of them with your own class that you have passed in as a parameter. Awesome. Great. So in the next video, we're going to talk about adding style sheets and scripts in WordPress. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.